you tribe welcome back to our channel I'm Rose and I'm your creative guide I have something so incredibly mm, special dear to my heart to share with you I'm really excited to be part of this summer collaboration with the amazing Rachel and Bella Crafts and Angela Kerr. Thank you so much, Rach and Angela, for including me in this beautiful project. So we're celebrating, and um, this is called a, a Country Retreat is uh, the theme here. Um, it is a stunning set of two kits. Uh, both cr one created by Rach and one created by Angela. It's pastel and oh, it's gorgeous. It's co cottage core at its best, and um, it has a theme that embodies like country, the country, especially the English countryside and a country retreat. It celebrates the beauty of that and the beauty of crafting and connecting and creating and the power of connection. And I will go through the process of showing you each individual beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paper. But I think that my time would be best spent letting you jump on over to Rach or uh, Angela's website and see, or their YouTube channel to see how beautiful it is. It truly is breathtaking and really worth the investment. It's 40% off while this collaboration is going on. So jump on that if what I'm going to show you, if the aesthetic is, is you. So each of them contributed to different parts of the kit. And um, I just, I just want to thank them so much for inspiring me, for including me, and for just bringing our community together. I think it's so, yeah, it's so lovely to learn from others. It, it inspires me so much. So thank you for letting me part, be part of it. Okay, so to get started, um, well, housekeeping before that. Really, I owe such a deep grat gratitude also for every one of you who has helped us reach a thousand subscribers if you're someone that's been with us from the beginning can i just say thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you if you're brand new same thing thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you um each message and act of kindness keeps me moving forward um i generally struggled for many years many 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 years um with my health. I'm disabled and the encouragement and the energy and the inspiration in this community is, is, is vibrant and um, I'm so grateful today to feel well enough to be creating with you and um, I hope that if you're feeling not quite to the place of, of creating yet that you'll hold out hope that 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 will be a possibility for you um okay so make sure if you enjoy this video go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you are not already and so with that said i just want to show you i'm using all the most basic junk journal supplies but the couple of things that i am using that may not be something that you have just in your like little box of tricks probably have in your craft room one of them is this medical emergency i don't know what it's the type of um tape you would use when you're dressing a wound you can use that or you can use i love this tape too but it was so thick this is strong and it's i love it it was also a little dark i was a little bit worried about what that would look like um and then you can use masking tape what I did, because all of them were too wide for my project, I placed strips of them onto a transparency sheet of paper. I don't know if you can see that, so I'll be able to peel it off when I'm ready. Um, I used my paper trimmer to trim these to the size that I wanted. 
Um, I like the flexible tape because though we are printing most of this on uh, the 110 pound cardstock, um, it just adds a little bit more strength to the project and especially if we're going to be turning the pages. So um, I printed, don't mind my writing here, these are just my notes. So um, you need to cut out eight pieces of 12 centimeters by 19 centimeters paper. And it just so happens this here. Okay, 12 by 19. And I've printed the pages that I really liked out of the kit um, four to a sheet using the Adobe PDF um, software. I have a, a tutorial on my channel if you would like to do it like this. It's a little bit, takes a little bit of a learning curve on the Adobe product. I'll set up the, I'll actually I'll do a screenshot and leave that at the end of the video for the settings I used if you're interested in doing that. But it's not necessary. Since this is super simple, you can just cut from your paper regularly uh, 12 by 19 you'll need eight of them okay and then you'll also need something for your cover and and actually binding it is optional so if you choose to do a cover then your cover will measure 26 by 10 and a half okay and um, you're going to score at 12 and a half and 13 and a half if you're coming over like this so that what you've got is a centimeter in the center that becomes this portion of the binding. You can use anything for that. I used one of the freebies that uh, Rach made, which is pretty awesome. Um, she's done five pages of freebie, freebies that are on on her coffee site and they're just absolutely gorgeous. This is one of part of them. Here's another one of them. Yeah, they're just lovely. Um, she has a video that she just released that is a center fold of, you know, what would you do? What do you do in the center when your journal opens up like this and you have the middle page? Um, idea to go in the center of that. So grab those from Rachel um, and Bella's coffee site if you like. That's what you'll need for your cover which is uh, 26 by 10 and a half. Um, I've gone ahead and cut mine out and I've inked it and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, you'll need some photos that you want to Serve. And because I'm working with this kit, um, a lot of these images are just gorgeous watercolors. Check this out. This is from the freebie. Um, yeah, they're lovely. As you can see here. Oops. So you'll need a selection of those that are printed about in the size that will go on your final something, okay? And what we're gonna be doing is basically making a little memory book. And but the binding is optional, because I'll show you that really quick here. This, these things, this is basically kind of like what we're gonna make. You can have it have a horizontal orientation it's just like a floating pocket you could tuck in somewhere if you didn't bind them together. You can put a note in the inside. Oops, I guess this is, I'm just grabbing something to show you. There's a pocket there. Um, so we'll make them so that each one has a pocket, maybe a place for an additional photograph or a note from someone. Um, I'm going to use, I'm making some paper ruffle, but you can 
definitely use like lace if you want for your edging so you can make it the horizontal orientation or um i put my pot opted for my pocket on the ends and the one that we're going to make together so it could go either way just want to show you what the possibilities are of what we're making and to know that the binding is optional at this point so you might want to decide if you're going to bind them or not um, in a little book because these would be just fine on their own or as a flip but the back side has a little bit of um, writing space to just write about what's inside or the experience and yeah I made quite a few of these and then I decided that I would bind them so you can kind of see it's just really a floating pocket and we're going to use that idea to make a memory book so if that's something that appeals to you stick around We'll go through it pretty quickly. Some of them have a pocket. Okay, so let's see. We'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to. Oh, excuse me. You need one other thing, which is eight of these strips. And I've cut and inked mine, which is two centimeters wide by nine and a half long and if you're going to do some paper ruffle you'll need some uh, scraps of paper to make a ruffle from and if this area kind of bothers you um, we're going to be cutting a notch out in our pages and so you may want if you don't like the way the white looks a few scraps that you know, one scrap that would cover up this edge part, uh, but that's optional too. Okay, so with no further ado, let's jump in. Okay, so what I've gone ahead and done is I have folded my pages in half after I've chosen the way that they will be oriented. I have cropped the corners in a way that I like and then I chose this orientation to um, have an opening and so I also cut notches and all you're going to do if you're going to do ruffle it's nice to just put it in the inside here okay if you're going to do lace it's okay I think to add after but keep in mind that you'll want to Especially if it's lace, this is the time you're going to want to add that there because you're going to want to secure it in with the, the binding that we do. So all you're going to do is basically um, ink the edges, make sure the edges are inked. If you want to add something here, uh, like I showed you, like a piece of um, paper, um, glue a little bit down and then make sure you ink this edge if you choose to do that. This one happened to be double-sided on accident, actually not on purpose. Okay, and then the other thing that we're going to do is seal up the opening. So, it's very tiny. Oops. The glue there. Okay. And before you decorate it, you're going to bind it and what you want to do is basically choose the order and I've chosen the order of mine. Um, I've used two paper edges and two ruffle edges and I, let's see, I got this um, binding method from Anna at uh, Pink Monarch Prints and I really actually quite enjoyed her her tutorial I didn't I would I had made these up and then I couldn't figure out a great way to bind them and um, I actually really like this idea that she had so I have gone ahead and what you're gonna do is so you need an even number of pages to make sure and so um, that's why I said you need eight so you bind pages Oops, let's see, one and two, 
you go ahead and add your um, tape strip just in the center here. Okay, and then you're gonna do that. We're gonna do that with three and four. You'll want to match up the edges of your pocket pages. And make sure that there's no gap in there as you put these together. press in that so one and two three and four and I did five and six and then seven and eight okay and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bind those two the back two so this is seven and eight and this is six and seven Now, the important part of this is to make sure that when you're applying the, the tape that the two sides are even. Otherwise, that's when things start to look skewampus. So that's why we're doing it. These are the same height. That's what I mean by even. So this, they need to be the same height, the pieces, as you work with them. Okay, so this is six, seven, and eight on this side. And then we're going to do the same thing here, right? We're going to add more tape. Maybe use there a piece to work with. Down. Okay, so you still got those two there. And then what you're going to do is join these two because these two are now the same height, right? So I think it's super easy um, when you see someone else do it, but it could be a little bit more challenging. I don't know. I, I haven't done this before. Or before her tutorial, anyway. Okay. So now we should have. Yeah. Nice. We have a little book. And what I do want to do is use this tape, but I'm going to use a full thickness of it. This is aligned how you want. Oh, I actually probably could have used, you might be able to use one of your half inch strips. I'm just gonna cut that off. That's the initial basic binding. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do, we've got these little strips here. I had you um, ink those and cut those because we're just gonna add that on the top for decoration. 
I think that might be optional. I this clear glue is or the clear it's almost translucent, not quite. You don't have to tear the edges the way I did. I'm not sure I'm loving that with this particular project, but it's okay. And that's how you do, you put these in. I'm not gonna do every one, I need to show you basically. You want to make sure to here that that you really do press in well because this is where if your structure of the integrity of your piece is weak anywhere it's probably right here so this needs a little more glue so you may have to do this more than once hopefully not but so you get the gist of the idea I'll add I'll finish the rest of that um, off camera the other thing I want to show you is that um, I have to create a pocket here but it's not glued down all the way this little signature gets glued in Quite a bit of glue on the spine here. And just kind of center it where you want it. hard time finding something that was this right height so I'm gonna just kind of eyeball it it'd be better if I had something to put underneath so that my back cover was the same height but I don't have anything so so then seal up this side too You can trim the edges here of all of these things. And I started to put my pocket on, but realized that that's not what I want to do because I've got to have my binding first. Trying to make it 
same height as best as I can, which is a little challenging. Now I can glue, well, oh, let's add the strip, the paper strip to cover the tape. Just like our little book and what you'll want to do from here I'm not gonna walk every step with you but know that what we're gonna wait what, what I'm gonna do off camera is add this little paper strip in I'm also gonna embellish it with a photo probably do some envelopes to tuck in different places okay And the only thing left on this one, besides doing those things, would be to choose a closure. And I hadn't been able to decide on that. Um, where I put it? Probably there. I don't want to break up the bird, but. Okay, I think I may put it right there. And this one here is, I made a little, I don't know, it's a little adhesive thing there, so. I go it on. So you could use the one with the grommet, but basically there you go, so there's a little this is still drying. It's a little memory book. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest off camera and then I'll come back and I'll show you my final project just before um, I deck out. I've been with you way too long. But I did want to show you that these are some of the envelopes that I'm going to use. And then um, a couple other very, very quick things. So I had so much fun playing. I wanted to show you another thing that I do with photos is uh, to print on the tracing paper and then put some photos inside because sometimes I often do something like this and then tuck it in a Christmas card. But these are nice if you're gonna gift the photos that you have, like a nice little blasting bag with a little note. That's another idea. And then I make tons and tons and tons of collage these are like Tim Holtz strips. So I printed up my um, papers. These are all the individual papers on here. I guess it's six by four. And then I made, so fun, these collage strips. And I'll use those all over as either like belly band or part of a collage. Anyway, um, I'll be back with the final product. Thank you so much for watching and um, just appreciate you so much. Thank you. Hello everyone. Um, just a final recap. I wanted to show you what my little memory book ended up looking like. Uh, here's a quick flip through. I borrowed this flower idea from Angela Kerr in one of her videos. I just absolutely loved what she did with hers. So. That's her idea. Um, isn't this cover beautiful, that paper? that That's a freebie from Rach. Okay, so mine just ended up um, pocket. I just put these in kind of as a holding spot, but you can see that um, I aged some of the photographs. And the way that I do that, it's printed on matte photo paper. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but um, I used to use a, a wet wipe and it kind of, it cleans off 
a little bit of the edges. I can show you on this one really quick. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do with the Epson uh, matte paper. Yeah, I'll just show you really quick. You just probably should definitely do this before I glue it, but I want it to look a little bit aged. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, it's one of the things I like to do. This, I think this project turned out really cute. Um, the pockets have like a little envelope for like a sentiment or something from someone, a special memory. I have other photos in here. This would make a really nice gift for someone who went on a retreat, a uh, place to write memories or tell about the photograph on this side. Same thing, each one of these pockets has something in it, an envelope or another photograph. And um, this is about the only page I'm not thrilled with, but um, so you can kind of see that. Yeah, I just want to, again, thank Rachel and Angela for letting me participate in this awesome collaboration. I've so enjoyed um, playing with their kits and enjoying their style and really connecting with our community further. So there's that little memory book. And again, those individual pages, you could use them, that idea anywhere. You could make this into a tag um, or a place. This one has a place for memories. I really enjoyed that one. Um, so just wanted to show you those again to remember that you don't even have to bind what you do. You could just make it that simple to just utilize that idea. And while you're um, learning how to make things with the Adobe PDF to make it smaller, this is really honestly one of my favorite things to do is make these snippets. This is self-explanatory, I guess, in the collage process, but I'm gonna have fun putting these in the journal that I'm making with their collaboration kit. So fun. Anyway, again, thank you so much. And I hope that if you like our content, you will um, subscribe and maybe hit the notification bell so you'll know when we drop something down else on the channel. Thank you so much.